Hello, 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 welcome to Hachi Rambles. So I watched Kotaro Liz Alone, the Netflix series, totally on accident. This was not supposed to be the next video, but you know, Netflix plays those trailers on your homepage and you just accidentally click on it. And next thing you know, I watched all 10 episodes and it was so good. Oh my gosh, best mistake I've made in a while. So this is gonna be a spoiler free review. Uh, Y'all should definitely go watch it. Again, it's only 10 episodes. I'm gonna give you a, a quick synopsis of the series. Now this anime is about a four-year-old named Sato Kataro that moves into an apartment and lives all by himself. Now you may be asking how that happened, how they let a little four-year-old just move in. Well, he has money and he can pay rent. So the landlord's like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> the whole anime is about how he lives by himself and how he gets along with his like neighbors. Kataro affects the lives of the neighbors and you mostly see that in his immediate next door neighbor, Karino Shin, who is a 30 year old aspiring mangaka. Katarino starts off as like this lazy slob that lacks any motivation. But when he meets Katarino, that slowly changes throughout the series. Now this slice of life anime had me on a non-stop seesaw of emotion. I was crying one moment and then I was laughing the other moment and then it was just back and forth. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this show? I think one of the best ways to hook someone into watching an anime is to have an air of mystery to the anime. What kept me watching watching back to back for each episode was I wanted to know more about Kotaro. Like, why does he live by himself? What, what's his past? What's his background? How did we end up in this situation? If there's one thing to nitpick about this anime, this wasn't even on my radar to watch. Before yesterday when I watched it, Katoro's eyes kind of creep me out. They're so weird looking. <laughs> Every time he stares at you, it's like these rectangular pupils. I don't know. <laughs> But you get over it. This anime is really phenomenal. Netflix did a great job. I'm crazy Netflix like they created it. But you know what I mean. Uh, they're probably trying to up their anime game because you know the whole Crunchyroll Funimation merger. So definitely check it out for yourself. At least watch the trailer. If I wasn't clear enough, I really, really like this anime. I enjoyed it. And I'm not ashamed to say it. I watched it dubbed. I watched the whole thing dubbed and it was great. <laughs> so tell me in the comments below, are you team Mitsuki or team Sumire? Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out. A little after the show rant. Does anyone else find a little scary yet comforting how well Netflix recommendations are? I like that Netflix knows what I like, but they know a little too well, you know? I mean, not only do they recommend me my favorite genres of like movies and shows, of course, of course, but they know the exact thumbnail I will click on. And I know they change their thumbnails to cater to like their viewer base. <laughs> and I am a simp girl I see a hot guy on my thumbnail and it looks scary or it's an anime I click and they know that they know that <laughs> but yeah that's it bye this is the end of the video please like and subscribe bye